What is up ladies and gentlemen, this week we were told about a brand new game mode that is coming to Black Ops Cold War Zombies. The mode is called Zombies Onslaught and in today's video I'm going to be talking about what it is, my opinions and comparing it to the past and how it should be treated. But before we can talk about that, here is the trailer for Zombies Onslaught. From the trailer, as you can see, we will encounter our undead friends within multiplayer maps across Black Ops Cold War. This, for the first time in Call of Duty history, will make us, the players, feel merged into the feeling that we're in the middle of a worldwide zombies outbreak. Not only will we encounter our friends within the narrative storyline of zombies, but also watch our operators deal with outbreaks across the globe in a unique experience. However, this mode will only be exclusive to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 until November 1st, 2021. That's a whole year. This, though, we will talk about later on into the video. Once we drop into the multiplayer map, the zombie outbreak begins. A dark Aether orb will spawn into the map, confining both you and one other operator into a confined space in the multiplayer map. When you kill zombies within this area, the orb will get powered up and move to a new location. This mechanic may sound familiar, as we have seen it in zombies before and not too long ago either. We just have to set our minds back into the Aether, where Victus, where we saw the empowered Engarthian device safely harbour us from the crumbling Aether universe in Tiger Totem, when we went from the Golden Packer Punch all the way to the facility at the top of the map in what is more commonly known as the Tag Deterton boss fight. The new mode won't be as simple as that however. Within the new mode we are ranked based on our score. Depending on our score we will receive a medal that corresponds to it. Gold medals for an elite performance with silver and bronze for not being quite as overcoming of the zombies horde. We will get rewards based on our performance Gold will give us a badge of honour, whilst the silver and bronze being less rewarding. A score is based on how many elite zombies we kill before succumbing to the undead. Elite zombies are more powerful zombies and will mostly act like heavy zombies from Black Ops 4, such as the 9 gladiators and Voyager Despair's Stokers. We will now need to talk about the big elf in the room, the exclusivity deal. Now if you're not aware already, within Black Ops Cold War, blueprints with a higher rarity will deal improved damage against zombies. Of course this has a lot of zombies fans worried about how the rewards this exclusive mode could work. There's a chance for example that someone could get a legendary blueprint of a 1911 for receiving a gold medal in Miami. I highly doubt that players within this mode will be rewarded blueprints but in the off chance that they do, it can easily be fixed in my opinion. Treyarch could simply make two 1911 blueprints of the same rarity, make one available via the Zombie Onslaught mode and another via an in-game challenge or in the free battle pass tiers. This will allow all fans to have the same rarity of 1911 but giving a second option for PlayStation users on how to earn a 1911 of that rarity. This was the biggest issue I have seen raised by the exclusive deal alongside of course the actual deal. I'm not here to defend Activision or Treyarch, it's upsetting to see a mode being locked to PlayStation for the next year. However Activision and Sony most likely had a deal already in place from years ago back in Black Ops 3 and they have probably been renegotiated many times. Black Ops 4 we saw maps go to PS4 users 7 days early. This locked easter egg hunts to just one platform. Easter egg hunting is a massive core to the zombies mode since Black Ops 3 and it's been a shame to see hunts only take on PlayStation besides launch map. I believe Activision had renegotiated this deal with Sony last year for Modern Warfare in a successful way. Last year in Modern Warfare for the first time we saw all maps, weapons, seasons come to each platform at the same time. 
There's only a handful of things locked to PlayStation for a year. A few cosmetics via in-game challenges P and PS Plus, as well as the survival game mode. Modern Warfare survival mode didn't get a lot of attention and wasn't really anything Xbox and PC fans were really missing out on. Also, in the survival mode, there weren't any nice rewards. I think there was one blueprint reward and it wasn't that amazing. So I wouldn't be worried about another game mode that is exclusive to PlayStation for a year, such as Zombies Onslaught, because I feel like even Actors and Trek know themselves, they can't give out these cool rewards to a mode that is exclusive to one console. This might also be why we saw a reusage of the tag to home boss fight in a sense, as well as the reuse of multiplayer maps. This is just to simply cut time that they need to use to develop the mode. Of course, they wouldn't want to put too much time into a mode, which they don't think will do as well in a sense. In my personal opinion, if the award system is done right, I personally do not think that Xbox and PC users are missing out on a major part of the game. It's a side mode of a side mode. It sucks to technically miss out on content, however, but I would much rather Activision feed the Sony hand with putting a side mode of a side mode on their cons for years than locking actual proper zombies content and maps behind a week to a month long with like previous titles. And of course, this means that for the first time ever, no matter what console you are on, you can all Easter egg hunt on every map of a game. And I think that, in its core, is the best thing to take out from this. I know exclusivity sucks, but would you rather not be able to Easter egg hunt? Or would you rather not play a side mode of a side mode? I think I know which one I would prefer. Anyways guys, this is the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time, bye!